Hello, my beautiful beauties, my wonderful lovelies. A pleasant morning to you. All right, so I'm still continuing on the budget debate closure that took place on March 21, 2023, and that was ended by the Honorable Dr. Nigel Clark, Minister of Finance. Minister of Finance, may I ask you a question, please? May, it's a pertinent question, and you'll understand why. Were you a part of the drama club when you were in school? You used to be a part of like, you know, um, pantomime or, you know, just so you know, I don't know if you went to the University of the West Indies. To be honest, I have not checked out your portfolio. I'm just, you know, you know, that I would have you. What's the name of the drama, the dramatic society or something of the sort? The, were you a part of it? Because the reason why I asked, because you are, you are so excellent yesterday in terms of your dramatic behavior and actions. I saw you reeling out some paper that why me I wonder how to manage to see after that. When you were talking about the taxation in lieu of the People's National Party, I saw you and then at one point I saw you, you know, I thought you were doing um what what what's what um ding dong song name again? Bones. I, I really like that song. I really, really do. I love a lot of ding dong songs, by the way. There these I I've always loved dance songs, you know. Um so I thought it was when, you, when I say you're swaying and you're talking about how, you know, they're not ambitious in terms of wanting to take J Jamaica out of debt in, in record time. Let us put it that way. And um, that they want a sort of a slowism, you know, but I understand where they're coming from. They're, they're really talking about balance, you know, um, although as quickly as possible, I believe in getting out of debt because debt is like somebody being hung on a tree, choking, feeling like they're right there going through right there at death's door the door has opened but they are and one foot probably out you know death about one in 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 life one at the you know through the door of death and one um is um at the in the door of life and you say no man this is torture i can understand that so i understand both both sides of the fence but i i see where the pnp would have you know was going with their hypothesis you know, create some balance because what has happened, you know, sir, you said that they made a mistake and say that um, the, um, 10 percent was the um, the unemployment rate. But it really was 13.7 percent. If that is a case, why, why PNP, I have to go really be very careful and accurate and that you guys took it down to 6 percent. I'm glad you admitted the, the, the fact, though, that though you took it down, you know, basically halfway or more than half. That is a type of jobs that have been promulgated and promoted in the society. You know, low paying jobs, low end jobs. No disrespect because all honest jobs are good jobs. But we have to be realistic that economies cannot grow on low paying jobs predominantly. And you understand that. We don't have to get into etymology of all of that. You know, you understand that. That economies will not boost that way. You need high end jobs. You know, like when you have the high-end bags, shoes, and all of that, these things matter. You know, that is why brain drain will sink economically and socially any society, sir. And you have mentioned about 95% of the public sector workers signing to the different agreements. You know, they signed to it. You made sure to, to enunciate that, that they signed to it. Okay, sir. Remember that unions supposedly represent the different public sector workers in the different spheres so it's not like each worker signed to it sir so we, yeah let's get that part clear oh okay yeah sir so let me ask you this sir you you made a proposition that you're aware that yes you don't have the high-end jobs in the majority and all of that and you made also mention of that we you can't we as Jamaicans cannot do like um Biden, you know, their economy and that. But sir, I I can't understand you made such a that that comment. Mm, sir, a well learned as Jamaicans would say, man like you. Come on. You know the great America is always in first place and we have always been in bronze place or third place. And you understand what I mean by that, sir? A third world country. Jamaica is a dot. If we were to take up Jamaica and drop it in places like all California, we would lo be lost. Even Florida, we'd be lost. We'd be lost, sir. So nobody 
could be made. That is why when I speak about Jamaica, I don't like when people bring up other countries. Because that is, it goes without saying. It is almost a redundant speech to say we can't do like. I, I, I'm aware of that, sir. I am aware of that. However, as much as they have the gold and we only have the bronze, we can't seem to leg the bronze at all. The Gulf, in so I don't want to say by and large, because I have not done a study. But, in a sense, the gulf between the rich and the poor is not so wide. The, you remember the story of Abraham and Lazarus, or Lazarus and, yes, and the, the, the rich man? You remember how they go when, and when they both died and the, the, the poor one went to heaven and the rich one went to hell. And the gulf was basically so wide that Abraham said, I can't even dip my finger the cool water and touch your tongue. I can't even do it. God put one piece of gulf there. And the same thing, basically, sir, you, you, you do in terms of the rich and the poor. Nobody, and when I say nobody, you know, I'm just using that loosely, cannot go to the supermarket with $20,000 and get something substantial that can hold them for the next two weeks. I am not asking that. I remember going somewhere to buy some personal amenities for that woman. It's a must have. Just to be and it's not the high end things you would think of. Because we can't really can't go up to some, but not the low, low end, mid range or so. And it came up to about fifteen thousand. I said, My God. This what is this? What is this? And I didn't buy a lot, just a hand, literally half full. Me can probably balance it on my one finger, the, the, the bag. And go so. You know, like people when they're balancing the the ball. The the um the not the netball, you know, the basketball thing. Huh? Sir, and you're going to talk about 95% signing? Come on, sir. Come on. Come on, the great Dr. Nigel Clark. Come on, sir. And they are reload a reload, reload. You know who you never wrap around yourself like when they stick a wrap around somebody. Reload, reload, reload. That for the last six years, no new taxes have been introduced. All right, sir. But may I tell you? I don't know, is a phantom taking away we money so because I have never seen expensive so I want you to research on the late great and venerable the esteemed Dr. Miles Monroe. And years ago in the early two thousand he spoke about our economy, he said don't be like Jamaica, where if they earn a hundred, fifty dollars is taken away in tax. This was years ago, the man preached at I I consider him like the twenty first century Paul. You know, Saul who became Paul, who was the most brilliant man in his day. I consider Dr. Miles Monroe the late great like that. Brilliant man he was for me in this 21st century. Not only preacher and speaker, but ma brilliant mind. Read four books per week, read the Bible for 37 years every year from Genesis to Revelation. And he said that many years ago, sir. I don't know one single solid... As Jamaicans would have one single solitary thing in a Jamaica that is inexpensive. Not, not even like a sweetie. I saw a little bag of, what do you call them? them? I'm not really a sweetie lover and I'm more of a chewing gum kind of a girl. But I make a sweetie, sweetie, they, you know, means, oh, I don't even know what them name. And one bag is like 500 and something dollars. Say, neck and neck with a patty or like a little box lunch. So even though you talk about six years of no new attacks, and you reload one really note, reload the tissue paper, may I call it. Eh? Never leave enough for people wipe the you know that section of their bodies. So what are you really saying? You really think we found bigger than elephant or tigers egg? No, them not them not an egg. No, men are not sell. Really, sir? The people they must suffer. Jamaican people are suffering, sir, financially. They're not surviving. And I'm not talking necessarily the dirt poor, what you call indigent. Even some of the upper class people are, they probably say, you know, God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? They can't talk because people say, you talking? The shame. The people are suffering, sir. So all the way talking about that taxing and a real, a real, with a dramatic and a dip like, boom. The bones. Ah, skip your enemy, them. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, 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 that sound good. Hmm? Jamaican people suffering, sir. My salary was indigent. I didn't really get a salary. I got a sil Really? Sir, fix it. You said you, you're the, the, the party to be trusted. 
we don't feel it yet follow me on tiktok guys subscribe to my youtube channel and share